Hi there, welcome to another video of the Quick Tip series. In this video I want to show you how to create more interesting brushes using the brushes settings and in particular I want to show you how to create randomly colored brushes using the color dynamic settings and also the scatter settings. So let's get started. Okay, for this uh, tutorial I'm gonna use this um, image as background. Uh, this, just for example, you can use any image. And the first thing I'll do is create a new layer because I want to have all the strokes on a separate layer so, I, so that I can uh, delete them. So I'll name this layer Brush Strokes. And I'm going to select the brush tool and make sure you have a hard brush. You can use soft brushes, but for this example I'm going to use a hard brush and the, set, the size that I'm going to use is about 90 pixels for this uh, canvas size and if you don't see these brushes here just uh, click this icon here and choose reset brushes I'm using Photoshop CS6 but uh, this is the same for all Photoshop versions you'll have an icon on the top right and if you click it you'll see this uh, drop down list and select reset brushes and that way you go to the default uh, Photoshop brushes and the next thing I'm going to do is open the brushes window. I have it here on the secondary dock. If you don't have it here, you, know, you can go to window and choose brush or press F5. And you can see that this is just a normal brush. And the first thing I'm going to do is enable color dynamics. And as soon as I do that, you will see that now the brush uh, starts to look different. You'll see each dot has a different shade of, of black. And that's because I have the foreground and background set to black and white. But if you change that from here, let's choose red. And for the background, maybe this uh, green. If I stroke again, you'll see that now I have a combination of these uh, two colors. Let's leave that there. Okay, now I have a few settings here. The first slider is to control the amount of foreground color you have, so the mix between the two colors. If you have it at 100% you will mix both colors and if you have it at 0% on the left you will only paint with the with the red color which is the foreground color so if you, see, if you set it at uh, 50% you will still get uh, more red than, than green. So if you want to have a random mix between the two colors just uh, set it at 100%. Let's undo that. I'll set the control to off. You can use a pen pressure if you have a tablet. I'm using uh, an Intuos 5 and um, if I set this to pen pressure, if I press gently on the pen, you will see that I'm painting with the, for, with the background color and if I press harder, I'll, I'll start to mix the, the two colors like that. Let's undo that. Uh, let's set this back to off. The reason why I only had these two colors mixed in this uh, stroke here is because I had the hue set to zero. As soon as you start increasing this, you will start to add more colors on the mix, as you can see there. And the brightness controls the amount of, uh, of how bright the colors are, but it kind of works um, on the opposite way. So if you set this to 100% the colors uh, will be darker as you can see here and if I set it to zero the colors are a bit brighter so if you if you set it to uh, to 100% it starts to introduce the black color also and you can see that the colors are a bit brighter if you set it to 0% than if you set it at 100% and the purity controls the um, the saturation so the saturation slider it's kind of useless um, I don't see any effect, but if you set the purity to zero, you'll, you'll see that you'll have black and white only, even though you have this color set to different than black and white, so if you set this to 100%, you'll have very saturated colors, and if you set it at, let's say, 15%, uh, minus 15%, sorry, uh, you'll have uh, some washed colors. Let's undo this, like that, and let's activate scattering as well and 
Also, let's activate shape dynamics so we have random sizes. One thing you can do with this, as I said, is you can create some uh, fantasy stuff or I don't, I don't know, even bokeh effects. I'll activate transfer as well. This is for uh, opacity. So some, you can see that some of the dots there are trans, uh, semi-transparent. But I want to go back to color dynamics and inc increase the purity just a bit because I want more saturated colors. So remember that the purity controls the, the amount of um, saturation, so how saturated the colors are. The brightness works uh, the opposite way. If you go to 100% the colors are darker and if you go to 0% colors are brighter. This, the saturation uh, slider uh, is, use, is useless in my opinion and the hue jitter uh, with this you can uh, increase you can add more colors to the mix and this is the balance between the foreground and the background color so that being said you can create uh, stuff like that and let me try different colors uh, something like that and I'll increase the brush size just a bit you can create uh, things like that and change the blend mode to screen, maybe, and under this layer you can add um, maybe a gradient map, let's reverse the colors, change the blend mode to soft white, and maybe another gradient map, I'm just making a really quick edit of a landscape image. Let's change this to screen to have more light. And well, you can create some sort of uh, summer effects with this. Uh, let's try a softer brush. Let's see what we can, what, what we can create with this. And change the blend mode to screen again. You can create uh, this kind of uh, colorful glows. And well, that's, that's it for uh, today's uh, quick tip video. I hope you find this uh, useful in your, in your edits. Until next time, this is Andre from PSD Box. Thank you for watching and see you next time.